looks pretty damn crazy right now. Do what you gotta do. Don't say it's impossible. Mm -hmm. Nothing is stopping you. I am in business. What's going on, guys? We're back. Yes, we're back. Today, we got back day. Again, first of all, I wanna say, welcome back to Dragon Farmers YouTube. You are 2022 Men's Physique Champion and two-time Arnold Classic Champion, Men's Physique. We here, we got back day. It's one of the most crucial days of the, of the, of the week. Y'all know, when it comes to this back, EB gonna give it to you, I promise you. Let's get into this work. We're gonna take our, take our supplements right now. We already got our stuff set up, looks like. I thank you guys, you know. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got Venom and some veins. So what I'm gonna go with today is any, many, money, mo. Catch a time, any, let her go. Any, many, money, mo. We gonna go with Venom today. We gonna go with Venom today. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna let y'all still see veins because again, that is actually a non, the non-stem. Uh, pre-workout from Dragon, and the Venom is actually the stem. So if you guys want a little extra push, definitely go with Venom. If you guys are working out maybe like in the evenings or anything like that, you probably want to grab the veins. But it's go time today, so. Again, this is, this is, this is the only in a proper way to, to kind of get your, your workout pumping. Again, we'll probably wait about five, 10 minutes, kind of get everything set up in the gym. Um, gym's pretty quiet today, which is, I mean, that's an amazing thing to, to have a gym that's quiet and, and not a lot of people. So, um, again, we're at the Iron Office, Fresno, California. It's my home gym. I love it here. It's quiet. The equipment is amazing. We have everything from arsenal to hammer strength to some Cybex pieces to, um, you know, a lot of power lifting stuff in the back. Um, everything is state of the art here, and uh, they've done a really good job with building this out. We, this is a brand new building and a brand new gym. Um, again, it's 28,000 feet. There's a cold plunge. There's a 20 person sauna. There's a huge black turf area. There's so much to do here. So again, when it comes to resources and, and, and being able to be number one with the best equipment in the world, that's where Ebanks trains. That tropical punch. Tropical Punch is it too. Before I get into this workout, what is so important, so important is you guys subscribe right now. Don't wait, go subscribe right now. Dragon Farmers YouTube, let's get it. We got, <laughs> we're gonna dive into this back right now. With this, I use the easy bar. Um, some people use the straight bar, some people use the ropes, but my main thing is now switching my grip. So today, instead of coming like this or overhand, I'm coming underhand um, with that lat, with that straight arm lat pull down. <clears throat> Get that stretch in there while you pull that weight out. Again, you want that back flat, that, that ass back. And all you do is pull straight down and have a slight pull at the top. I don't think a lot of people do those. So if y'all have not tried those, add that into your arsenal today because again, I, I can't say it or express it even more enough that to have a, a, a back like mine, trust me, the exercises that I'm doing, this is not the first time I'm doing them. I've been having these in my, my routine for a long time. So there's some weeks I'll go grab the rope and then most weeks it's literally that underhand the underhand grip that I use with this easy bar. Ooh. Ooh. That blood is starting to circulate, baby. Thing is, is this is only a warm up to all my back exercises I'm about to get into today. So be patient with the body. Don't rush, don't rush the body. Make sure you're doing shit correctly. 
and warming up the muscle, not just going crazy to maybe straight rack pulls or straight chest supported T-bar rows or anything like that. Take your time, take your damn time. You don't want no injuries, because again, that's a, it's a setback. You don't want no setback. As soon as you get set back, now you're a year off. Guess what everybody else is doing? Catching up or jumping ahead of you. We ain't letting that shit happen. That's a fact. <laughs> Time is ticking. Eight weeks to the Legion, 12 weeks to the Olympia. Be ready. Next exercise, it's a big boy exercise. We're not gonna go too crazy today. We'll probably, yeah, today is not like a nasty, crazy, heavy day. So we're gonna go to chest supported T-bar rows and uh, kind of bang some stuff out over there. When you start doing movements or exercises that, that require a little bit more heavier weight, you kind of wanna, again, core, core stabilization and tightening that core is key but also having that, that support for the back. So Dragon Pharma, Dragon Pharma sent me a little present. So we're just gonna pull that out. Oh, as you can see, I don't know if y'all can get that D on there, but something special in here. That Dragon Pharma lifting belt. Quality is great, nice thick leather. This ain't no, no rink-a-dink stuff. So my mind go to a whole nother zone when, it, when I really start dialing into this back. I might not talk just as much. Um, because again, we eight weeks out and I am not playing. That's one thing I, I don't do. Y'all may see me talk shit and smiling and doing that, but I do take this shit a little serious. Because one, being competitive, that, that's, that's my middle name. Oh. Oh. As I got into my movements, my chest didn't come off of this mat at all. Didn't come off the mat at all. So a lot of you guys are pulling in, trying to get your chest off of this. No, keep your chest on that. Another thing, when you're pulling, stop pulling back. You need to pull wide. Y'all keep saying, oh, E-Banks is wide, this, this, and that, because I do all my movements wide elbows out not tucked it's a great tip for you so a lot of y'all been asking too like e why don't you put both feet on here i don't feel safe that's that's personally me i have one foot offset to the far left and then i have my hanging foot on the ground that just gives me a little bit more sta stabilization for me on this on this machine here um, so it's just my preference and what I do. Again, get that stretch. Like let that back hunch a little bit. And then again, pull wide. Cool little 12 piece, two plates. We'll go up, we'll add some stuff. To the sound. <laughs> so one thing that we do do is take our breaks. Again, once we start adding heavy weights to our to our exercises, those that that rest period goes from 90 seconds to two minutes. You know what I mean? So um, again, to catch our breath and be be recovered, so we can we can pull a little bit more. But again, as I'm in this gym. You know, I like to kind of take a look at, see where the fullness is coming and, and seeing how the body is shaping up as far as the pump and getting everything going. So, I mean, everything looks pretty damn crazy right now. One thing that we're doing now, like I said, we added weight. We're gonna do probably eight to 10 with this because one, I wanna go heavier. I don't wanna exhaust my body too much um, because again, we got, <laughs> we got rack pulls today, baby. We got rack pulls and we gonna show Dragon Pharma, how to do the E-Banks rows, how to, how, to, how to literally set it up, how to perform it, how to do it all. I got y'all.
All right, so y'all know where I'm at. I'm sitting here setting up these rag pulls, setting up these rag pulls. My warm up weight, we're gonna start with two, two plates. We'll see how we feel um, with, with the weight and then we go up from there. First set, warm up, probably get eight to 10, just depending on how I'm feeling. Again, make sure you guys grab straps. It's not a cheat, it's not nothing like that, but it's for me to just be able to control the weight how I wanna control the weight. And as you see, I'm not sitting here banging rack pulls out, you know what I mean? I'm, 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 I'm below the knee, squeezing the glutes, pushing the hips through, letting that weight sit on the back of my lats, then release, and I'm controlling it back down, not just throwing the weight back down. First set down, warm up, easy peasy. Let's go up. <clears throat> that weight where if you pick this shit up and you feel any kind of awkwardness or weirdness go through your body stop like literally let that shit go let that ego shit go out the dough yes yeah, some of y'all can throw around weight but are you effectively doing it are you controlling the weight etc again it's all about controlling this shit High, basically it's an isolation uh, lateral row, but we're gonna we're gonna do both at a time. And uh, we, again, elbows high, chest up, making sure we bring that thickness in that upper back. So we probably have about two or three more exercises left. And again. I take every, every, every day seriously. But when it comes to my back, man, it's, my mind goes to another level because I know, I know where they can't fuck with me at. And that's my back. Do a back double buy. Show y'all what a, a, a back double buy man's physique looks like. Ooh, we just heating up. going crazy heavy on lat pull downs. Again, I want to control the weight. Great contraction. You'll see. You'll see how thick and dense my muscles are right now just by just doing slow and control. Third last set. Let's get into it. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. 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 So 
So right now we're setting up into the one and only Ebanks Rose. We're using the mag bar, close grip, pull. Pull right below the belly button as I come up from that hyper extension. That squeeze, that's the squeeze that you want. Ebanks rolls, Ooh, we're getting into it. Here we go. And as you keep getting more advanced, we're just going to start getting into all the and all that. I don't want to overstore you. So we're doing the body part right now one more time. No doubt you've done the cable low row before, but just to go over a couple things, you'll come back with your breath. So again, it's nice and controlled. It's not that I'm going up and down just for the movement. No, I'm going up slowly, down slowly to contract everything in that lower back. Again, it makes you, I'm hitting those lats with that row. Since we are teaching you guys how to do the E-Banks rows, we're gonna show you different variations that I do use. So I do use that close grip mag bar like I showed you in the first set. Second set, we're gonna go with this easy bar just to give it a little bit more of that that wider width and pull through that row. This is actually one that I use very often. Oh. <clears throat> Let's get it. So at this rate, at this weight, it's at 42 kilos. So thing is, we only do 10. Usually when I put it at 35 or 32 kilos, we're doing about 12 to 15 reps. So we're going a little bit heavier. It may not seem like a lot of weight, but when you're hitting that hyper extension and pulling that row, <laughs> it ain't no joke. It ain't no joke. All right, we just got done with this back workout. Destroyed it, of course, nothing less. But again, now I'm excited because again, we got an event that's about to happen in a couple hours. The blood drive. We will see you guys in a couple hours. We'll see you guys soon. Make sure you guys come out, donate blood, and just support the cause. We'll see you guys there. Oh, he ready. He always ready. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Willing to die for what I'm living for. And if you didn't get it, go and live some more. I'ma run it up. Gotta get some more. We ain't done enough. Can't fake or imitate. Short grass so no snakes get in the way. John Madden called me. I got the plate. In the maze, you gotta find a way. Or make one. Living for the future, not yesterday. Wanna be great, do what it takes. What's going on, guys? We're in Fresno, California at the Iron Office. I got my guy here, Will. Uh, again, we're, we're here with the blood drive, and um, we brought so many tremendous athletes out here. We got Mark Castro, we have myself, Andy, um, Antonio, the big predator. Um, who else we got? Jonathan, Jonathan Keiko. Keiko. We got so many guys that's out here that's supporting the cause of donating blood today. Um, again, I, I just want to thank Iron Office and Will and, and Jazz to, to actually let us hold this event here, and I know they're working with the blood drive too as well. Give them a little bit of a rundown of how you guys have been doing this and what you guys have been doing here with the blood drive. So this is our third year hosting the blood drive with uh, 
Central Valley uh, Blood Systems. Uh, honestly, it, it's a great cause. We, uh, we put a lot of effort into it. We wanted to get as many people out here, such as Aaron, to uh, really promote it because uh, I, I feel like it's, it's a cause that isn't really spoken about a lot. So right. I, I really appreciate you guys coming out. Appreciate Aaron, appreciate all the other athletes and uh, Dragon Pharma. Absolutely, absolutely. So again, we're just here supporting the cause, reach, reaching out and giving back is another thing. Great thing to do is to give back to your community. Again, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a, there's a big red truck out there, man. If you guys wanna donate blood, make sure you guys pull up to your next or your nearest blood drive in the city near you. Dragon Pharma, YouTube, we're out. We'll see you next time. Hey, go, go ahead. I am her trainer. I am her trainer. But I'm going to allow her, since she donated blood today, she's going to have a Twinkie and a chocolate hostess cupcake. You're good today. So, again, guys, like I said, this is a great cause. We're here supporting everybody, supporting the city of Fresno. Um, again, we're just bringing awareness to, to any industry. I mean, in, in general, guys, get out there and donate blood. You save so many lives. Like, you guys have no clue on what donating means to the world. So, again, get out there and donate blood. We undefeated over here. That's what I'm saying. Fre thing, Fresno, be, Fresno we breed athletes. This is, <laughs> this is a little sneak peek of what we got here. We got NFL athletes, we got NFL, we got boxers, we got bodybuilders, we got skaters, we got whatever you need, whatever you need. Fresno, we breed them. Let, let the people know how much you bench, how much you deadlift, what's the other list? Squat. So, how squat. Much you squat? So, yeah, so if y'all know me, uh, I'm the, my name is Jonathan Keiko, I'm the 93 kilo world champion, now uh, two time world champion, rather three-time national champion. You know, in fire everything, we, we do squat, bench, and deadlift. My best, my best squat in competition is 673. My best bench press in competition is 536.7, uh, which I did over in Malta about seven weeks ago. And my best deadlift in competition is 767, which is, I don't even know, like 347 kilo. Yeah, 347 kilo. Give them kind of, give them, give them kind of like a rundown of like a typical workout. Like, do you train chest, legs, back? Like, how do you, what's your split? It's like, your, it's like a glorified, like 90% of my training is for powerlifting. So I do like squat, bench, and deadlift. That's like 90% of the movements I'm doing. The other 10%, or, you know, 10, 15% is like very bodybuilding style. You know what I mean? So like, uh, I, co I actually come from my, like a bodybuilding background. I appreciate uh, that. Yeah, I did that, I did that um, as I was growing up. I did that for like eight to 10 years. And then I kind of transitioned into powerlifting, you know what I mean? Gotcha. And um, so I kind of built that good base. Yeah, we got uh, the yeah. biggest difference with uh, bodybuilding and powerlifting. Say so, yeah, I'm sorry. The biggest difference. The biggest difference is, it's just like how much, like, you know, for bodybuilding, it doesn't matter how much weight you need to move. Um, right. It's just like, how well can we move the, you know, how well can we move the muscle? How well can we, you know what right, I mean? Right. Um, but with powerlifting, it's like, like, yeah, that's a thing. But the main thing is just how much weight can we move? You know, it's like absolute weight at the end That's of the day, crazy. yeah. So it's, a, it's about how well you can put your whole body into a movement, you know? What's your weight? I could be 205. Yeah, we're going we gonna to take y'all back and give y'all a little sneak peek of some, some extracurricular stuff. I know we got some protein here, protein shakes, right? Just protein shakes? Is this your brand? Yeah. Okay. Okay, come, come over here. Come over here. So let the people know who you are and what you're going to be doing here in the iron office. So my name is Ronnie. We're gonna be opening up a little protein smoothie bar right here once the construction's done. And we'll be offering high protein smoothies, all organic fruits um, within like the next one or two months. See? So stay tuned. We're doing some things here at yes, the iron office. Are. Yes, we are. We're at the end of the, the blood drive. So I wanna thank everybody. I wanna thank Dragon Farmer. I wanna thank Jonathan Keiko, Mark Castro, Andy, Antoine, myself, and so many guys that, that came out and supported. Again, it, it's been a blessing um, to have Dragon come out and do some things with us and uh, just to be a part of a great foundation. You know, um, again, they do this periodically because again, donating blood is, is an amazing thing. So again, it helps save lives. And if, if, that, if that's what it is, Aaron Banks is in, you know what I mean? Again, giving back to the community of Fresno is, is one thing I'm about. So again, Guys, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And again, 
Stay tuned. We got a lot of stuff coming up. We're out of here.